people walk in on every video? Yeah? Should we show the people work over Christmas? This is Roxy's channel now. Can you even see my face anymore? Hi friends! It is Sam and it's that time of year again where we reflect on Christmas. Christmas was a bit weird this year as it probably was with uh, everyone but I, uh, I still managed to have a good one. The initial plan was to go to my dad's on Boxing Day after spending Christmas Day here but in the UK we were only allowed Christmas Day to visit our families. So we spent half the day here and half the day with um, our dad. Bit hectic but it was good. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas too. I know it can be a really difficult time of the year for some people so I hope it was a nice day. As I do every year I got an excellent haul this year. Too much to show everything, but I've selected a few bits to share with you. And of course, I hope you'll let me know what you got in the comments. In no particular order, the first thing I got for Christmas is Zelda Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. This is gonna come in handy because although I am obsessed with Animal Crossing, I only spend a few hours on it a day so um this can go in between my morning and evening sessions of Animal Crossing and I can just spend all day on the switch. Was this a good idea to get me mother? <laughs> From my nanny this king enthusiast got two DVDs sets. This is more than one DVD but you know what I mean. Adaptations of King books, Doctor Sleep. I haven't seen it yet. I read the book sort of late-ish this year and I really enjoyed it. It is uh, one of the better Stephen King books that I've read so I'm excited to watch this. Hopefully today let's um let's get my family watching this today. We're gonna have a good time. Also The Outsider. This might be in my top three Stephen King books. And uh, they made it into a TV show and I missed it. I don't know whether it was on a channel I don't have, but I missed it when it aired on TV. So I got this from my nanny. I am so, so excited to watch it. I hope it's as good as the book. I don't expect it to be but I have high hopes. This year I've got right back into writing. I have currently got about three novels on the go. So um, I can always do with a new notebook. And my daddy and my stepmom got me the most stunning notebook I have ever seen. Look at that. We've got like books about strong women and girls it's magnetic and it's lined and it's the, it's just it's gorgeous so i'm most definitely going to be doing some novel planning in this we got two ribbons which is handy because i can do character profile sections and i can jot down chapter ideas and i don't have to lose the pages because i got two ribbons genius Next up is probably actually one of my favourite presents I got. I know lots of people love their cars, but I love my car like so much. She is one of my most treasured possessions and although I love her so much, I am aware that I am going to have to replace her at some point. But it still breaks my heart to think that I'm going to have to part with her. So Jess got me a little toy queenie. How cute is that? This means that queenie can be with me forever and I will always remember my very first car. We know baby loves earrings, right? So I got several more pairs for Christmas. These are little ceramic beauties from my bestie. 
It's really hard to get the camera to focus on them, but they're little ceramic earrings with little hearts etched into them and they're so precious. I'm very excited to wear these. I was gonna wear these today, but I just, I wanted to show them because they're so cute. My mummy also got me some King Novel earrings. I'm wearing It and Pet Cemetery, but we've also got Carrie, the Tommy Knockers, Christine and The Stand. I have yet to read three of those titles, but I'm definitely gonna get around to it. Apparently the Tommy Knockers is a lot like Dreamcatcher, which I actually did a reading vlog on, so it's bound to be good. From my friend Connor, I got a Bojack Horseman coaster. How amazing is this? He got me into Bojack and I'm forever grateful to him for it. Now I've got a little symbol of my love for Bojack and my friendship. Next up, we got a little unboxing to do. I did a secret Santa with a couple of friends and um, some of them cheated and got me a present anyway, which is very naughty. But my secret Santa gift is my boy. Damien Wayne is one of my favorite DC characters. I don't know what to say, I love him. And I've been waiting to open him until this very moment so we can get excited together. Are we just starting to notice that I didn't get as many toys this year? <laughs> How do you even? Okay, we're in. Oh, oh, he's got a fabric cake, fun. Oh my God, this is amazing. His feet are stuck. Okay, okay. Oh, we can do the splits. Everyone, we can do the splits. <laughs> Um, this is amazing. He actually has the joints of a crime fighting hero. Maybe not the arms. Your arms are a bit stiff, friend. Excellent. He can... He's just an acrobat. Oh my god, this is incredible. Look at this boy! Look at this precious boy! And of course we got some books. Uh, this top one we need to talk about. We all know what um, a horrendous person JK Rowling is, okay? We all know and I don't want to support her. So I got this one second hand from my nan. Um, she basically gives me money every year and I buy my present, give it back to her and she gives it to me at Christmas. So I bought this second hand. It's kind of sad because I really enjoyed doing my special edition unboxings, but it is what it is. Can we just get a load of this Lord Voldemort illustration right now? Oh yes, and while we're here, I got a new ace ring. My hand got too fat from my previous ace ring as I gained weight, but um, she's back. I'm whole again. Thank you, mummy. I also got another king. This is a sort of recent one and it's had mixed reviews on the booktube, but Dreamcatcher also had mixed reviews and I absolutely loved it. The Shining has stellar reviews and I only thought it was okay. So, who's to know what I'm gonna think of this? We'll find out. The Devil All The Time, I saw the film on Netflix with my sister and I thought um, the acting was amazing in it and it was a pretty good film. So sis bought me the book and it's matte and it feels like really nice and I love the size of it and apparently this is a lot creepier than the already very creepy film, so buzz in. I got the most recent book from Lisa Jewell, one of my top three authors, so I'm very excited about this one. Another thing I grew out of as I gained weight was my beloved she t-shirt. I had to sell it on Depop and I was very sad to see it go, but Santa heard my wishes. He was like, Sam, I've got you. 
So we whispered in my mum's ear like second hand Shira t-shirt. And she provided. Now if only I had a mug to match. I got quite a few items of clothing, uh, but I'm just gonna showcase one more piece that I particularly love. This thing is so soft and I'm so excited to wear it. So I'm gonna have to show it. It is a Hollister jumper. It's the softest thing I've ever felt. And I petted a puppy the other day. We have this tradition in our house where mum, sis and I go charity shopping and we pick out bits for each other. And this was one of my picks and I am just in love. I love this jumper so much. The final item I'm going to show you, I stared at for a good 60 seconds when I opened it because wow, the detail in this thing is incredible. How do we not get reflection on the glass? Um, um, um. <sighs> oh my God, I love it so much. It's my favorite book. Part two is one of my favorite films. It's so good. And look at this. I keep spotting new things every time I look at it and I'm so excited to put it on my wall and just look at it every day, all the time. But yeah, like I said, I got lots more for Christmas. I was utterly spoilt as usual and I couldn't be happier. I'm so lucky to have the people in my life who are in my life. Words? English? I don't know. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I apologise to anyone who celebrated a different religious holiday this year and didn't have exceptions made for them. From an objective point of view, what the government did for Christmas and not for the other religious holidays was really unfair, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed whatever holiday you celebrated this year. And here's to more celebrations next year hopefully with more of our loved ones. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you have a happy new year and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.